Okay. Um, right. Speaking of losing, uh, Reggie, I want to send you this link. And um, what I would like to do, if it's cool with both of you, is have you play this and get you guys' reaction to it. And um, if you want to talk or speak, uh, Reggie, all I ask is just if you just pause it and then say your thoughts and then resume. I just sent it to your text message, but um, I, I really want to get James' thoughts and reaction to this uh, to this song. Okay, great. Um, okay, we play it right now, and then we listen to it, and we we'll get get a reaction. You know, we'll see what happens. Right, give me one second. It's a song that he wants you to listen to. Somebody gotta pay for the sorrow Blow out your marbles for every thought There's a teardrop And I swear I miss you, my nigga Oh yeah, and tell Pac On my block, it seems they keep falling Now I'm beating niggas down often And I wish it wasn't you in that coffin Remember blowing on that grind down Sticky icky Out in Hawaii with Shook Sipping on daiquiri mix Chase down with Hennessy And early in the morning To the crack of dawn My OG, homie, country From the mob lives on I take this shit deeper now I'm seeking my first child You couldn't see her smell my nigga we hurt now they say you never miss a true homie so yeah john uh yeah we just heard the song and um you can go ahead and lead into it tell the people who was all on the song i know it's a tribute song that was played at uh at Buntry services and also placed on uh an album uh crooked eyes album i think he was in charge of putting that out uh, while you was working at Wide Awake. And so, if you can explain who all was on the song, then I'll tell you a little backstory that a lot of people don't know about that particular song. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that one was um, KC from KC and JoJo, um, Eastwood, Crooked Eye, Danny Boy, and um, Gangster Rid from Booyah Tribe. Did you say Ray J? Ray J was on another version, so they took. Uh, Ray J off and Danny Boy re-recorded Ray J's vocals at one point. So there's two versions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It was it was a great song. Fuck me up. I played it every day. I played it every day until I said I can't do it no more. And uh, you know, the the only problem I had with it when. People was like, why didn't you mention you like that California song? Uh, and they said, Timmy Rue. That's my brother. I'm not. People don't understand, man. I am not a groupie, never was a groupie, never wanted to be around the superstars or whoever they claim to be. I was a gang member. I was active. I was in another world. I wasn't, I didn't hang, Snoop never tell you, I didn't hang around people like that. I couldn't be around those cats like that. So I never had a problem with with none of that. You know what I'm saying? They showed love and gave respect to my brother. That's the only thing that mattered to me. And all those guys that did that song and the way they did that song, I'm, I'm forever grateful. You know what I'm saying? I still hold that song dear. I still have this song. So, yeah. So, uh, we're gonna call it ball of ball, strike or strike. Suge Knight and they were just hating on James at the time. Why they didn't mention any man in that song. They didn't have to though. But they didn't have to. James didn't want that. That wasn't James. I'm not saying that's him now. But definitely back then. Y'all gotta understand. James was the type of nigga back then. After he got help and did what he did to help Suge get on and stuff like that. When I came around, 95, 96, he was the nigga that you called when you needed 
a lot of dudes. Or you needed somebody to, to have that gonna show the numbers and the rep and gonna be with it when it's a possibility that it's gonna go down with another set. After that, all the dudes that was around, from me on down, was scared or didn't really want James around because of how James would have got down. James was straightforward, would call, would tell us, the F us, tell Suge that, and he was a threat to Suge Knight and a threat to our positions because one of us would have had to do something to James if he did something to Suge Knight. That Which it would have never came to that. That wouldn't have happened. But, but that's how it was. Me and Buntry, and you know, yeah. truth be told, me and Buntry had a lot of arguments pushing shove grudges because of that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, at, at one point when I felt a certain kind of way, Buntry was like, no, nah, that you fuck shit up for all of us exactly. if that happened. So, you know, a lot of shit, motherfucker had to keep his hands in his pocket. But, you know, when I realized it only took conversation to, to <laughs> get what you need, to get what I need, I ain't got to go do all of this other shit. <laughs> so call me the dumb game maker. I don't have to get physical with nobody. I ain't got to take away conversation. It was yeah, <laughs> you motherfucker. I'm on my way, but <laughs> I, I had to be a certain kind of way to get it. Yeah. So you know, once once I figured that out, I didn't have to go in and and. Play yeah, hanging out and, three, four in the morning. Yeah, I didn't have yeah. to do that. So, and I was one of the, the first ones to to know what the fuck they was doing anyway. What they gonna do? They ain't doing shit. Exactly. Couldn't they? And I wasn't finna hang out for that. Yeah. So it was it was a big difference, and you know, man, like I said, man, I love the song, man, and and I'm not looking for my name, and if 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 I was tripping. I swear to God, they'd have told you Mom James was tripping because they didn't put his name in there. I got my brother and my other brother. Motherfuckers didn't even know who Mom James was by face yeah, yeah. until I was like, fuck it. Yeah. Motherfuckers just heard the name. Motherfuckers didn't know the face and the name at the same time. So that didn't matter. That didn't bother me. That And it don't bother me. And this, this Pyro or Pyro stuff, I'm telling y'all, this stuff is new. When they grew up, when they were out there and active in 90, I mean, it happened. Of course it happened, brothers fighting and all that. But the way that somebody's willing to do it these days didn't happen prior to about 2002. That was unheard of. Time has changed. That was unheard of. Y'all don't get it. Crips was always, I mean, you know, they did get mad at me. But they always. Well, how fought. you gonna speak on the Crips, man? Because I know I was a cop. been a blood or Crip, but I was a cop. I was a gang expert in, a, in the state that. of California. No. Man, I know more. I know more. Crips, you probably know them. Rules, you know them. Dealt with them and talked with them. How you know what they go through? Anybody? I know. How you know what they go through? Cause they talk to me. Okay. How can a professor teach something? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you that. One. Cause they talk. I don't, man. Trust me, they Crips. Santana and Southside ain't never had issues with each other. Everybody, yeah, they my, had issues. That's my point. They were doing that Palmer Blocks and Santa, Palmer Blocks and Southside were shooting, killing each other in 93, 94, 95. And all that, I was bumping that, I was drinking some old English. And I'm sitting there, I'm buzzing. Because my beer was hot. And uh, I had to make a choice. I can't go over there because all the homies from Luders that had kids, I know of. Yeah. And one thing I didn't believe in, in in going against the grain, just just what you call Even though it wasn't, and, and they still at war with the bullshit, it wasn't the hood, you know, regardless of how people took it. But I get mad right now today when they put shit on Buntry and you're only 19. Yeah. You didn't know him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't hear when it started. Y'all don't know how shit happened. And it, 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 was, it was a motherfucker. Uh, but that's legacy, John. though. I love that legacy. But, I mean... But you said it ain't y'all fight. It ain't they fight. Got you. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? You know, I let it go. 
So you should be able to. Bunch have been gone yeah. 20 years. Matter of fact, y'all don't know his anniversary is coming up. Yeah. April the... Uh, second. The second. The second of April. The shout out, y'all. Yeah. I, this his birthday just passed? February the 4th. 5th. February the 5th. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a drink. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't shed a tear. I didn't go on Facebook with a, I'm, you know, my sad shit. I'm, I'm, I've learned how to accept. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I see him, I look at him every day at my house, you know, with, with the picture on the wall. And I'm good. I'm good. And it's cool that I was able to change. You know what I'm saying? Because the hatred wasn't doing shit but holding me down, Reg. Yeah. And blaming everybody ain't gonna get us nowhere. So talking to Cynthia and what they trying to do with peace treaty, hood, it shouldn't be a peace treaty. Everybody just gotta understand. These cats don't know the history of power rule. Yeah. It was never like this. Never like this. And for all of these guys that are gone now, nigga, stop. Cause y'all doing they doing more harm to what it used to be than 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 what it is today. You know what I'm saying? And it I don't well after after moms, I don't even go to Compton. Yeah. I don't even go there because it's just like nothing. Well unless somebody say something about you you're looking for them. Well that's, that's a different <laughs> thing. Look, I'm like I said, I'm 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 getting up there in age and I'm wiser than I used to be. I actually think now. Yeah. And and consequences mean a lot to me. A lot to me because I'm not just living for myself. I'm living for my grandson. Right, and I dread if something happened to me, yeah. what would what what would happen to him? What would happen to him? I got you. I don't want him to be nothing like me. Yeah. And I do it every day through conversations, not whooping his ass. And I restrain myself from whooping this nigga. But I don't want that nigga to go through nothing I've been through. Man, you sound so much like my hero Ghost on Power. That's how I have No, Mr. I'm telling Hill, you. I'm telling you. Um, telling his son that. Like, and, I don't want this for you. I don't want this. Man, right. And, that ghost, and sure. all of these people on this internet shit and me talking that shit, man, they couldn't live in my shoes. Yeah. They couldn't. All these niggas talking about what kind of pyro they is, half of these niggas couldn't be motherfucking pyros or a gang member in itself. Yeah. And I done yeah. seen a lot of niggas fall. Yeah. Going to prison. And every cat that, that's from a hood know what I'm talking about. A lot of cats is fall. Just just getting in the motherfucking door when they let you off that bus in the county jail. Yeah. I done seen them. But they was the strongest, solidest, most rappingest, bloods ruled the streets of LA, killing all night. Nigga, please. You think what you saw? But it's in both sides. What I done seen? On both that, sides. In that jail cell behind that table? Could you imagine? But you see him. Woo! You see him. Woo! And if, and if I wanted to be. I could tell some stories on y'all heroes. No. If, 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 just say if I was in the same line of work. Exposing niggas, putting niggas out there, Reg. I got a whole lot of jailhouse stories with niggas getting raped Ooh. and whooped with house shoes. Oh. But come home, gangsta. <laughs> Nigga, if y'all don't knock it off. But like I said, I'm, I'm glad I done grown up and and none of that shit phased me, dog. None of it phased me. Yep. Shout out. Rest in peace, Buncher.